Hey there to all my lovely listeners tuning in out there. Welcome to Fractured Poet, a podcast for all of you poetically insane individuals who love getting lost in the art of poetry. Podcasting from Ontario, California, I am your host, Katrina Wisniewski, just another person in the world obsessed with words, striving to make sense of it all. All right, so the poems of choice for today's episode are pretty random. Both of the poems I will recite have nothing to do with the other, mixed it up a little bit, and get out of the serious like topics for a little bit. So this first poem is called Theatrical Shame. Frail souls collapse with envy, aching for truth they cannot seek, mocking those who are on TV. Frail souls collapse with envy. The mood has changed, so topsy-turvy, revealing their shame. They go so weak. Frail souls collapse with envy, aching for truth they cannot seek. This poem was written in one of the poetry classes I took a few years back. I was messing around with a bunch of poetry formats and styles and eventually came up with this one. There are no emotions or feelings tied to this particular poem. It's just a random poem. I don't really know how I came up with this one, so there's not really much to say about it. So I will move on to the next poem, and this one is called Enough. He sets the mood, calling her name, telling a story of nothing but dismay, pondering his words and feeling the shame. Wanting to escape, she remains his prey. He talks in paragraphs, moving off topic, explaining the truths and depicting the lies. Seeing the future, she develops a panic, aching to speak. Would this be wise? He stands his ground, avoiding all calmness, raising his voice. How long has it been? To acknowledge the truth and bear witness, struggling to listen. Just take it in. A repeated task she knows too well. It's time to go. She says farewell. And again, this was another poem written for one of my poetry classes. I liked writing this one, to be honest. It makes me think about someone who continuously keeps talking and talking and talking about something that does not grab your attention. You try to listen and understand their point of view, but most of the time, you try to keep yourself from falling asleep and nodding off occasionally, pretending to give a damn about whatever topic this individual is talking about. I know it sounds rude, but yeah, you know, it happens. You know, I've found myself, you know, especially among people that I don't know, or you get stuck talking to someone that you don't really care to be around and they're just talking and talking and talking and you don't really care but you don't want to be rude and I mean I'm sure you all know how it goes but of course there is a part of you that wants to be interested but you just can't although at the same time you don't want to be rude by cutting them off midway and make up some excuse because it would definitely be obvious that you really don't care about what they're saying or don't take interest or just flat don't agree with them. Eh, anyways, um, enough of that junk. I guess I will end that short tangent on this note and conclude today's episode. Again, I know it's really short and I'm sorry, but to those of you who are always tuning in and even those who are just joining in, I hope you liked what you heard. You can catch this and future episodes at anchor.fm forward slash fractured poet. This episode of Fractured Poet was written and produced by me, Katrina Wisniewski, music by Alternative Rock Volume 1 and Rock Electronica Volume 4 from a website called freeplaymusic.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Fractured Poet. And as always, thanks for listening and until next time.